Scott here with UA Lawn Care. I wanted to talk to you guys today about how to network. And we're going to talk about 12 tips for shy people, how to overcome their shyness, and how to work and connect with people in a networking situation. Networking is the key to success in business, says Keith, business coach and author of Never Eat Alone, a book about the power of a relationship building, networking. It helps you find jobs, recruit talent, win new customers, discover investors who will support your ideas. How to make the most of these holiday networking sessions. But networking is a trial for uh, most shy people, especially geeks. They view it as insincere at best. A lack of confidence and fear of rejection and a sense of unworthiness. If you ever been in a crowd with people and you're all alone, you're like, why didn't I bring a friend? It's best that you go alone to networking events, find someone that you don't know, and talk to them. If they could just relate to other people easily, if they just possessed more self-confidence, weren't such self-confident wallflowers, their world would be their oysters. Smoozing would be so much easier. Smoozing. It is possible for um, shy guys to master the skills of networking. They just have to uh, realize that success in networking is all about building um, relationships, mature uh, generosity, It's all about setting goals, meeting one person at a time, and talking to new faces when possible. You start small is uh, one step. If you, if the idea of approaching people you don't know intimidates you, begin your networking events their efforts by seeking out familiar faces such as relatives and friends. You can do a significant amount of valuable networking without ever having to make a cold call. Um, says Linda, the director of Northeastern University MBA Career Center. Starting with a known contact instead of an unknown, the networking process helps you get a shy person over the hurdle. A series of successful conversations will make you more confident in the process. A logical next step after talking with friends and family is to persuade individuals who graduated from your college, or pursue, I guess, pursue individuals from your college. Um, I guess that's one way for a shy person, but I really think going to a networking event and just talking to one person. Forget about trying to meet everyone there. Go talk to one person. Um, step two is stop apologizing. Um, shy people feel like they're asking someone to do them a favor. You are, but you need to be a giver first. So you give a lead, then you don't expect anything at first, and you get a lead later. They don't think they, they're worth it. Someone else's time, uh, they're apologizing for it. So you, you just need to stop, get the feelings out of the way. You don't apologize for... Uh, spending other people's time. They're there to talk to somebody. They're going to talk to you or someone else. It's your opportunity to talk to them and show them what you're made of, what you offer, 
what you bring to the table. So stop apologizing. Uh, when you approach the person, you want to smile, ask a question, listen to their feedback. Make sure you have plenty of business cards, just in case. Say the person's name. People like to hear their own name. Uh, that person's name is the sweetest sound to that person. So when you meet someone, use his name in conversation. Doing so makes the other person feel more comfortable, like you really know him and he knows you. So these are some thoughts from Dale Carnegie. So read his book, uh, Winning Friends and Influencing People. Tap into your uh, passions. Uh, you can join different groups uh, after school, before school, uh, before work, after work, during work, uh, lunch groups, BNIs, Freemasons, civic clubs, church clubs, to name a few. Um, go to the function. Uh, don't be hanging out with the same faces. Uh, meet someone new every single time. Every single time. Meet three, a minimum of three new people every single time. You got to generate new leads, new contacts, and you're going to grow your network. Um, attending gatherings where you feel comfortable helps you put your best foot forward. Um, an executive talent agent, job search expert, avoid situations where you might be stressed, rushed, distracted from your networking mission, she says. That's, that sounds good. Ask for introductions. If you know someone there, ask them to meet um, the person over there that seems to be uh, leading the crowd in that particular area. Be generous. Uh, sometimes uh, shy people have trouble networking because they don't think they have anything significant, such as a job or contact, to give back to someone who helped them. Well, you might not have anything at first. By networking with uh, new faces, you will grow your overall network, keep their business card, right on the back what they do and what kind of lead they're looking for or what kind of what would make a good referral for that person. Is it just a name and a number? Is it uh, a time of day where they can meet with other people in a group so they can speak in front of something like that be prepared if you're afraid you freeze up you get your tongue tied in social settings prepare yourself in advance think of icebreaker questions you can ask people you can meet if you're attending an event um, specific specifically to network your way to a new job have your personal pitch ready says uh, Freeman um, so what you want to do is you want to practice beforehand you want to say it um, each different icebreaker at least six different times until you have it down you want to approach person uh, people one-on-one -on -one. you don't want to talk to everybody there once again you want to talk to a minimum of three new people uh, talk to your friends uh, meet and greet everybody after you met them do follow-up calls after you leave. Uh, follow-up. Uh, let's break that down. Sharing information, uh, either online, an article, report, or phone number. With new context builds your credibility. So if you promise to email or report to someone you met on the plane, make sure you do that. When you do that, you You've said you were going to do it. It gives the other person the impression that you keep your word. She says, if you don't, you're, uh, you're just another schmoozer. Um, get over the fear of rejection. In the course of networking, you're going to encounter who can't and who doesn't want to help you. 
that's life. Don't take it personally. Uh, don't dwell on it. It's all a part of the, the overall process. Uh, take risks. When you overcome your fear of rejection, it's easier to make cold calls, strike up conversations with uh, strangers. The person sitting next to you at a banquet or on an airplane may be feeling as uncomfortable as you are and will appreciate you breaking the ice. They just might be a fabulous contact for you and know the right people for you to talk to. You just won't know until you try. Um, if you can't open up to people, you'd never be able to network. And if you absolutely cannot overcome your shyness on your own, um, it's probably best that you go with a friend if you can't go alone. Hopefully they can introduce you to at least one or two people that you can network with and achieve the overall success in overcoming your shyness in the world of networking. In closing, subscribe to our channel. Uh, give us the big thumbs up. Check out our other videos and uh, we're going to be coming out with more networking tips and tricks and uh, hopefully we have a great 2017. Thanks again.